Welcome to section 11 of musculoskeletal anatomy. In this section, we'll be discussing the ankle and foot. Let's get started. The amount of information you need to know regarding the ankle and foot is pretty minimal. The most likely topic to show up on step one will be regarding ankle sprains. And this slide honestly covers everything you need to know. The lateral ligaments in the ankle are weaker than the medial ligaments. So they're much more likely to be injured and much more likely to show up on step one. The most important thing you need to remember from this entire lecture is that the anterior talofibular ligament, or ATFL, is the most commonly injured ligament in the ankle. This often occurs following inversion of a plantar flexed foot and presents with pain and bruising near the anterolateral region of the ankle. The anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament is injured less commonly and is located more proximally. So it presents with pain that is more proximally than an ATFL injury. Here we have a lateral view and a medial view of the ankle. Let's focus on the lateral view first. So again, these ligaments are weaker than the medial ligaments, so they're much more commonly injured. The names of the ligaments are pretty straightforward if you understand the bones. So for example, the fibula is right here and the talus is right here. So the ligament that runs between these two structures is called the anterior talofibular ligament, or ATFL. Likewise, the ligament that runs between the fibula and calcaneus is called the calcaneofibular ligament. We can see many other ligaments here, including the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament, which is the other ligament we discussed on the last slide. From the medial view, you can see several other ligaments which we've included for completeness sake, but these are less commonly injured, so we won't spend any more time discussing them. We'll finish this video by discussing plantar fasciitis. This is a disorder characterized by inflammation of the plantar aponeurosis. The etiology is unclear, but it's thought to be due to a biomechanical abnormality. It presents with pain along the heel of the foot. It's common in runners, and the pain is worse with the first few steps after a period of inactivity. This is an image that nicely illustrates inflammation of the plantar aponeurosis. As you can see, this is a thick band of connective tissue that runs along the bottom of the foot and supports the arch of the foot. Okay, let's do a question. A 24-year-old male is brought to the office after an ankle injury during a basketball game. He was running across the court when he twisted his left ankle inward. Physical examination reveals pain and bruising along the lateral aspect of the ankle joint. Which of the following structures is most likely injured? A. Anterior tibiotalar ligament. B. Tibionavicular ligament. C. Anterior talofibular ligament. D. Posterior tibiotalar ligament. Or E. Tibiocalcaneal ligament. Hopefully from the question stem you notice that this patient twisted his left ankle inward. In other words, he inverted his left ankle. This, as well as pain along the lateral aspect of the ankle joint, is a classic presentation of an anterior talofibular ligament injury. So the correct answer is C, anterior talofibular ligament. A, B, D, and E are all medial ankle ligaments, which are much less common and would present with pain along the medial aspect of the ankle joint. From the overview image, notice that the ATFL is right here. So an injury presents with pain along the lateral aspect of the ankle joint, right here. All of the other choices in the question were medial ankle ligaments over here.